Hey y'all, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, or welcome if you're a first time viewer, glad to have you. Um, I'm Jula the Don, um, and this is my, you know, little tarot channel. Um, I be putting out collective readings now. I want to get back into Zodiacs, but give me a minute because I just came back. What is this? Day four now? Y'all just bear with me. Um, so, you know, I'm just checking in with y'all to give y'all another message. Yesterday, it was a little bit of a firm, tough love type of message, but we got through it. And I don't know about y'all, but today I'm feeling really good. Um, so after, you know, I did some cleaning around the house, got myself together. I said, let me go ahead and get this message out before I go run my errands. So that's what I'm gonna do. So... These are the cards on the board, Page of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Hierophant, Five of Wands, and the Wheel. All right. So when I um just went to go pre-shuffle these cards, um, I because y'all know I use one deck, you know for the spread another deck for clarifying and it was one of the cards from this from the clarifying deck over here that was entangled with the spread deck which is strange because that rarely ever happens to me and it was the knight of cups I split the deck the spread deck the shuffle I got the ace of swords and I got the tower card um I started shuffling. I was trying not to look, but I looked anyway. I saw the Eight of Cups. I saw the Judgment card. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's two things that I'm getting because I feel like that um, Knight of Cups, that Tower card, and that Ace of Swords, somebody, like, I feel like a move, and I, I hate to use the lingo, but I got to be myself, like, Somebody busting a move today. Um, we've been talking about a lot of different energies that I've been picking up, like, you know, families like coming back together or people leaving a third parties or something like that. That tower card is with the ace of swords is some type of shocking revelation, some type of shocking information coming in, uh, coupled with that uh that Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, like somebody leaving somewhere. Um, if you're breaking up because you're tired of somebody, today might be that day where you just like, man, I'm out of here. If somebody, you know, that you're estranged from is with someone else, today might be the day that they either make up their mind actually start putting their ducks in a row to leave or actually are communicating like I'm out of here. I don't know that tower card with that ace of swords. It just did something to me. So y'all just, you know, just be on the lookout. Just be on the lookout because here we got the chariot card again. We talked about this yesterday. Things are moving. Things are moving. All right. So let's get into it. So we got this page of swords here. Like I said, the beginning of an idea, beginning of communication, a thought, a conversation. Somebody's looking for information possibly. But like I just said, look up under there, that eight of cups. Somebody may, be, may have gotten a word with the hierophant. Somebody may be coming to that decision like, I got to go. I got to leave. So please don't make it hard for me. I gave enough. I'm tired of love. I got to let it go. Something, somebody, I, when I was pre-shuffling, I was hearing a song. I don't know if it's Quavo by himself or if it's the Migos. I bet I should know it's Quavo and um, God bless the dead, pop smoke, shake the room. Like, I don't know if this is a thought. Like I said, it could be a thought, an idea, a plan, something being communicated. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is doing something to shake the room. And what's shaking the room? That Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is talking about walking away. If you look at the imagery on that card, though, somebody's gaining a word. Somebody's being influenced. Somebody's being taught. 
looking up to somebody. You see how that man is looking up to the teacher? This man is also looking into looking up to the teacher. Your spiritual team, your spiritual council, your ancestors, God, Jesus, whomever, you know, up on the hills, as the song say, where my help cometh from, somebody getting a word and it might just be getting through. Seven of cups here. It's a little confusing. That comes with the territory, though. Because when you when you going and you're growing, and it's like that's like you like the kids right now. The kids are about to go back to school. They're going to a grade on the next level. Prayerfully, they weren't held back, but you know they're going to a new grade, a new level. And once they get into that classroom, once they get into that classroom and start getting that message. It's a little confusing, but stay the course because the pay, I mean, the Knight of Swords is the next step up from the Page of Swords. If you confuse, ask questions. That's why I ask, I implore you all, if y'all have questions about the messages that I'm giving to y'all, leave a comment. Um, I, I might need to start putting my email in the, in the description or whatever. And my Google number, if y'all want to reach out, reach out. If y'all need a personal read and reach out, I do those as well. Those are even better. And I'm really into personal, you know, with my personal reading clients, I prefer, um, like a zoom or a phone call so that we could talk because I'm not a psychic. I'm an intuitive, so I'm, I need to talk to you. I need to ask some questions as I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? Getting, we need to, it's a, it's a energy exchange. And I think that's where a lot of people get it twisted. Like I'm not a psychic at all. And I don't know if a lot of other tarot readers are psychic, but we don't know everything. We feel an energy. And then we read in cards, which have their own meetings. We got to combine the two. If we're sitting in, in close proximity to you, we're going to be feeling energies. There's a lot that goes into this. So if you are confused, you can definitely leave me a comment, reach out to me. I do personals. Um, we can, we can get those questions answered, but yeah, just stay the course though, because like I said, excuse me, the night is the next level up from the page. This is about graduation, elevation. Up under that seven of cups is the ace of cups. That's answering the questions, any confusion. We will answer questions out of love. This is what God is saying. Hierophant talks about spiritual counsel. If you looking up, if you look into God for answers, they're coming and they're coming fast. Like I told y'all yesterday, one of the fastest moving nights in the deck, if not the fastest is the night of swords. It's nothing. Let me back up some so I can see. Eight of cups, ace of cups, ten of wands. Leaving something behind because of all of the, the hassle with that ten of wands. Something is too much work. And it's like... If this talks about like a relationship, like somebody's leaving, you know, a romantic union, it's like they feel that they're growing. They've elevated from the page of swords to the knight of swords. But it's like the person that they're with is maybe in a seven of cups energy. Like, and I'm hearing, are you dumb? Like Remy Ma, like, are you dumb? Like one person is elevating. The other person is not. One person is progressing. The other person is not. So it's like, I really can't, I can't do it. And somebody is taking whatever emotions that they have left and pouring it out. That's just one scenario though. Y'all know it's going to come out in a clarifying what else is going on here. 
yeah i just feel like this this may be like a little bit of a struggle outside of somebody leaving like a love connection this is just like a struggle you know with the elevation it's like um growth pains growth pains is what i'm feeling because it's a new level new levels new devils Hierophant, five of wands, the wheel. Let the let me find out somebody does not want to grow. Because it's new and it's different. But it's time to go forward with this chariot card in a reverse. I mean with this chariot, excuse me, it's not in reverse. But you if you're scared to go. And you're scared to grow. It's in the reverse energetically for you. The nine of pentacles awaits though. And that's that tower, tower card energy. It's shocking. It's a culture shock. Something is a culture shock for somebody. It's so different. And they're low-key kind of scared. And kind of want to go back to old ways. It's not worth it. At the bottom of the deck, here's the four of cups. That's what you're going to get. You want to go back to this? You want to go back to abandonment? You want to go back to neglect? Rejection? Don't go back. Another card from up under the deck. Don't go back. Continue to do the work. Whatever it is, you got collaborations that's coming. Do not go back. Move forward with the cherry card. So let's get into the clarifying energy. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's stuck in their mind. I it, it may be time to go or somebody's time to go, but they're scared. They're scared to take that leap of faith. And that's why it may just be still in the ideal stage or the thought stage. Because it, it's, it's like, if I leave this union... If I leave this house, if I leave this job, where am I going to go? What's out? What's on the other side of this door awaiting me? Seven of cups. Seven of cups. Seven of cups. Yeah, like I said, somebody's confused. Wands is an energy of action, of doing. If I take this step, what does the future have in store for me? But like I said, if y'all go back and look at some of my older readings, my pastor from the church I grew up in always said, we thank God. Hello, what's the saying? We may not know what the future holds for us, but we just thank God that we know who holds the future. And you got to go into it like that. You got to have faith. Like, and I know if you, you know, maybe weren't brought up in any type of religion or any type of spirituality, you know, and you don't, you just hear about faith and you haven't been told, told or taught how to activate your faith and utilize it. That's that's that may be something that I need to get into like a course of how to activate your faith. It's you got to test yourself. It's like an obstacle course. And the more that you test yourself and you can even test God. Don't play with God. <laughs> Please don't play with God, but you could test God. And once you and God get in sync, 
and you have discernment to be able to know when you're being told. And that might be an issue too. I keep getting this word. I keep getting this word to go forth, to leave wherever I'm at. But is it you? Is it you, God? Is it you, God? I don't know with the eight of swords stuck in the mind. I don't know. Seven of cups. I'm confused. I don't know. T I'm testing you, God. Say it again. Say it a little bit louder. Turn the volume up. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Four of Cups, Page of Swords. Yeah, about to miss out on an opportunity. Because God is saying, you heard me. And you trying to reject my word. You trying to reject my love, my cup. Every ace for me is something that's given straight from God. If you don't listen to God and you reject God's word, and you be scared, and you stay stuck, eight of swords, stuck, seven of cups, stuck. If you stay stuck and do not follow what God is telling you, you're going to miss out on something awesome. Eight of cups. Yeah, because God is telling you to go. Like I said, it's somebody that's doing something that's not right and exact, that's not, you know, being honored by God. You somewhere you're not supposed to be with somebody you're not supposed to be with or doing something that you're not. If you are, listen, and this is something that just came when I said doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Somebody is worried about money and may be willing to take chances to get money. If you do not heed what God tells you to do when it comes to money and walk away from whatever grand idea that you think or thought that you have that's supposed to bring you abundance, your ass going to jail. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, The Big House, the justice card, all behind money. And you saying that you're doing it for love and you're doing it for family. And that's exactly what you're going to be taken away from. And you're not going to be able to help them. That just came. That was just a download just now. Intuitive. But on a whole nother note, you know, for the people that family i'm i don't know what it is about family i keep ever since i done started doing these collective readings on this channel which was just a few days ago i've been feeling a strong energy of like people's homes have been wrecked people's families have had a rift brought into them by a third party another woman another man because we saw yesterday it was two kings on the board If you are the person that has left your family behind, it's justice coming for that family. And you think that you're going to stay stuck in your worldly lustful ways. You're going to lose before you be stuck wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing. And you know that I think you're scared of rejection. If you try to go back to whomever, you scared to leave whatever situation you're in because it's somewhat maybe uh, 3D or physically comfortable, but your mind is not settled there. It's not a peaceful place. Emotions are all over the place. You really don't know where you stand with this person. You feel rejected. You don't feel appreciated, et cetera, et cetera. So it's time to create balance in that Ten of Pentacles situation. Let's move on. Ace of Cups. Uh, 
<laughs> Can't make it up. Ace of Cups clarifying the Ace of Cups with the Magician. Like I said, balance is being restored slowly but surely. For the person who this person may have left behind, wifey, I'm my wife, wifey is what I'm hearing. And I'm also hearing baby girl. Just chill, baby girl. <laughs> Just chill. It's not the time right now. When the time is right, you will know it. Listen for God's voice. And obey, I'm hearing. When God tell you to take it, take this person back or get your family right, because at the end of the day, and if you anything like me, you bullheaded and you stubborn. I don't want them back. I whatever, however it go. It doesn't matter what anybody says, how anybody feels about it, whether they agree, concur, disagree, whatever. If God say do something, it's going to happen if you're willing, if you're obedient. And if you're not, you're going to be in a four of cups energy. But how often does the ace of cups clarify the ace of cups? It's too much love in between this family dynamic, this 10 of pentacles. And that's why yesterday in the read, and I was saying, this person may not be physically there with you, but emotionally, spiritually, mentally, they are with you. They couldn't, they couldn't leave you if they wanted to. They are locked in. So it doesn't even make sense to like try to attach yourself or stay committed to someone else because the woman, other woman showed up in two different energies. One of them was the queen of wands. And that was just while I was shuffling the cards. No, actually she jumped out and I called her that hoe over there. Go check out the, um, the short called, uh, that hoe over there. Yeah. And she also showed up as a, um, high priestess in a reverse. Like this is somebody who it's, just, it's big side chick energy. It's big secret lover energy. It's big, I'm I'm a fuck on your man. Excuse my language, but I'm just, I, this is how I talk. I'm a fuck on your man because he going to pay me. Like, want to wanna be, no shout out, I mean, no shade to JT and Carisha because I love those girls. But big, want to be fake hot girl, city girl energy. And it's not even like that because if it was, then, oh my gosh, I wish, I'm not going to talk to y'all how I talk regularly, but I got to keep it a buck because if it was this person who you think you taking from somebody wouldn't be trapped up in their head about this person, wouldn't be silent towards you about this person. Wouldn't be walking away, wouldn't be confused, wouldn't be over there in their own little corner doing their own little thing. It wouldn't be that if you was like that, like ten of wands, ten of wands, ten of wands, ten of wands. Ten of wands, heavy, heavy burdens, heavy burdens of chilling, um, cheating, excuse me on their empress denying and lying to about their empress the um emperor actually showed himself yesterday so that's what god is trying to do like work on this person's um kingly attributes and the kings that showed themselves on the board yesterday were the king of swords and the king of pentacles so that's talking about working on somebody's mind working on somebody's finances their ability to be grounded and practical and make things make sense and it's crazy because I'm this energy here with the seven of swords and the empress is just telling me to tell that hoe over there. How you get them is how you lose them. You may not have known because every woman doesn't know if a man is cheating on somebody else with them, but that's how you got that person. And that's how you're going to lose them because they're leaving you to run back to the person they are actually supposed to be committed to their actual true love. Two aces of cups. It's crazy. 
Empress don't got to do too much. Don't got to say too much. That's why God is telling you, do not engage in battle. You don't have to fight this battle. And another message that I'm getting here, because the magician is right next to this energy, somebody did some type of magic to break up y'all's union. And they did it to get your man. To have your man leave you because of confusion, turn their back on you, cheat on you, lie to you, deceive you, leave you. But they're coming back with their three of wands. And especially if this is one of those like divine union type of situations. If it's not a, a divine or spiritual connection, this person is just like heavily in love hiding it but heavily in love and it's just like i can't i can't lie no more that's the burden that's why it's so much work this person did so much uh foolishness fuckery lies deceit games and i'm so sorry because that seven of swords energy that they was in it gave you 10 swords in your back and now they carrying 10 wands because it's like they have to literally move mountains and move the whole world and the moon to get back to you. And that's why God is, is that's why yesterday we talked about why, why is it taking so long? Why is it not my turn? Why did it have to, or why is it going like this? Because if you knew everything that was done behind your back, First of all, you probably wouldn't deal with this person at all. But, yeah, behind your back with the Eight of Swords while you was just being, you know, this person's lover, this wifey, the Empress. It's so much work that has to be done behind the scenes. You got to wait. Hierophant, Hierophant, Hierophant. Oh, the tower. God bringing a tower down to end cycles, to begin new cycles. Y'all hear my stomach growling? I am so hungry. I just ordered some DoorDash, so excuse me. But yeah, um, this is a, a divine intervention type of situation, like, if it's somebody that you're supposed to be leaving, if you're a person that's leaving a connection, like this is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> I'm hearing this song in my head. Like it's, oh my gosh. Like, it, like I'm hearing also Miley Cyrus. I came in like a wrecking ball. Like I don't know what God is doing, but something is going on. Something's, I keep saying that, like it's a shift. Something is going on and it's coming in and it's bringing down a whole tower and it's closing out a, one cycle and starting another. And it has to do with walking away from something to bring balance to something else. Five of wands, five of wands, five of wands. I'm hearing it may come with some conflict aftermath, but again, you've already been told you don't have to. Yeah, conflict is coming in after somebody. Conflict is coming in after somebody decides that they have to leave. Conflict is coming in because somebody feels played. Conflict is coming in because you are deciding to leave, and when you drop that bomb. Like DJ Clue, ain't that the DJ that dropped the bombs? When you drop that DJ Clue bomb on a fucking head, they're going to be mad and you're going to be protected. So don't worry about nothing. The will. The will. 
the will. And a lot of y'all, some of y'all want to see the karma. Some of y'all want to see the tower. Some of y'all want to laugh. I'm hearing laugh in a bitch face. Like some of y'all want that so bad, but it's not even necessary. Cause you already know like what you are. It's like, you already know what type of energy this is like because i'm oh man this is so crazy the the i'm gonna tell y'all just how i'm hearing it the person that you was dealing with if they leaving somebody to come back to you they was a motherfucker and you know how nasty and cold-blooded they could be so you already know what type of time and they gonna be on and i'm hearing sneaky too you already know this person and what they're capable of. But it's not for you. You have to stay. You've done too much work, shadow work, inner work. You've done too much to raise your vibration. Like, you don't want to laugh at somebody else's pain. So that's why God is telling you to, man, go on. Go sit down somewhere. Go sit pretty. Don't worry about what's going on behind your back. Just do you. So today I would suggest this is a day like go love up on yourself. Go do something special just for you and embrace and hold on to that energy there because there's chaos going on somewhere else and it has nothing to do with you while simultaneously having, having everything to do with you and it's not your business. It's just not. I think I, I think I pulled cards or uh, shuffled for the wheel, but I'm gonna do it again because I don't. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel, clarifying the wheel. Yeah, don't do nothing. God's gonna do a hierophant again. When you look up the meaning in this deck for this card here, it also talks about isolating yourself. God wants you to be alone right now. Alone. Anything else will be uncivilized. Devil card at the bottom of the deck. King of Swords. Yeah. You don't need to worry about any of that. I ain't even getting into all of that because I don't want to bring up anything else will be uncivilized. It's for you to be alone right now. You just sit pretty. Continue to do what you're doing. It's toxic shit going on, but it ain't going on around you. And if you are a person that's in a toxic situation and you're supposed to be leaving, you better listen. You better listen. You better listen. Any other stories I see? I already, I talked about somebody doing like stuff that's illegal or something like that to get money. Dealing with some type of a female that you cannot trust. This is, this is for the hustlers. Um... Somebody's doing something illegal and they thinking that they're doing it out of love. They're thinking that it's going to, you know, strengthen a union. But you can't trust this bitch here. You fuck around and end up in jail thinking that you're doing something righteous. You know, you, you will sacrifice yourself. You will take these chances, you know, to make sure that the family and the household is straight. But you will fuck around and go to jail and you will get left. The same people that you was doing this for and willing to take these chances for is not going to be the people that's going to pick up that phone. They're not going to be the people that come and visit you. They will fucking leave you. And you're going to be mad. Mad as hell with the five of wands. And you can't blame nobody but yourself. So you better stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Leave that bitch alone. Isolate yourself. And get your shit together with the Hierophant and get right with God. Because you will fuck around and go to jail. This is also a court card, like literally court, courthouse. That's a judge. Those are the two attorneys. 
all because of a toxic connection. So you better leave it. I don't know. I'm hearing somebody brother need to hear this cousin. Somebody's male family member, somebody's son even because the Empress card could be a mother and your son is out here off the chain trying to get money to appease a female that he cannot trust and he will likely end up in jail if he does not stop what he's doing. Any other stories I see? No. I'm going to wrap it up right there. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace out.